That's Bruce. Barely. Hello. What are we doing? I don't know. We're, oh, we're going to see the comet. I forgot already. It's called Neo Wise. Oh, are you excited? And I won't be back for 7,000 years from now. You'll still be alive. Yes, we will. <laughs> we uploaded to a computer. Porn immediately in front of me at all times. Why porn? The focus on this thing is terrible, so I don't know if I'm in focus or not, but we're, there's porn Bruce again. We're going to see, hopefully, the Neowise comet. We've tried to see it like two times already. We haven't been able to see it, and today it's foggy, so not a great day to try to go see it, but we're bored. We're not doing anything anyway. I'm a vlogger now. Oh, you look so cute. Ow, it's gonna be a hand cramp. I thought you were gonna say hand job. Why is your mind in the gutter always? It's not always in the gutter, just right now. <laughs> Jeez, you need a release from me. I know, you're a sag. No, you get it? Release, like a hand job release. No! Oh my gosh, scary. <laughs> Bruce is drifting <laughs> all across the highway. <laughs> Oh, this is a bad angle. I had like bad a angle. I had like a dad looking at you and FaceTime angle. We're in clouds right now, but we're heading right to that cloud break yeah, over there. Right there. People are saying you can see it with the naked eye, but, but binoculars are better. We ever gonna use binoculars and look at us now. Using binoculars. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's gonna make me sick. Oh, don't look at them, yeah, don't look at them now. <laughs> oh my god. By the way, also if anybody is truly actually keen on looking at a comet, it is under the Big Dipper. So if you see it, you know where the Big Dipper is in the sky? It'll be directly underneath it. We're gonna just kind of go into the mountains. Yeah. And then uh, that's why I will, I will bury your body. What? To the moon? Say what they want you to say. What, the moon? <laughs> he said it. I'm not just a catchphrase. <laughs> Did you ever think that would be your life? What do you mean my life? It's not my life. I'm trying to have a 20 minutes interview with you. Is it 20 minutes? Wait, is it 40 minutes? Like 60 minutes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, Chad, she doesn't feel good. It's okay, babe. Take a deep breath. I'm not gonna show it. I'm not gonna show it. This is the angle they show in a horror movie before someone gets killed. Good God. <laughs> I don't know how you forgot that you can't. <laughs> <laughs> that you... I like completely forgot. <laughs> sure, yeah, try it. Why not? Who cares? As long as it goes up like this, and then you want to just keep going as high as you can go. And it doesn't matter where what road we go up, because we'll be able to find our way back, you know? Yeah, this is the dead end, I think. So you just turn around and we'll go back to where that park was. I'm recording too. Oh yeah, Autumn's shooting, Autumn's shooting a video for a YouTube channel. We're trying to find the path to get down into this park so that we can try to see the comet. It's, uh, so far, haven't been able to find how to get in. Oh, right there, yeah. Oh yeah, look, that's a bunch of people looking. Oh yeah, they're all doing it. Everybody's doing it. We somehow found the perfect spot. Yeah, I know, we got really lucky. Chad, it's gonna be really dark. Oh, this is so great. If we're gonna see it. Oh, I think, do I think, I, do I see it? <laughs> I feel like I see it. Did you hear what Autumn just said? She said stars are crazy. <laughs> you can kind of see the uh, the city out there. And there's the moon. Here, will you hold this? Sure. And then I'll, where are the binoculars? There it is. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, that's really neat. It's, it is super dim. Yeah, I, I think I can see it, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited to look at it. Chat, let me see if I can zoom in for you. Let me see if I can zoom in. I, it's incredibly, it's incredibly dim. Chat, this meteor is pretty it's a comet. sick. It's a comet. This comet is pretty sick. <laughs> Wait, what's the difference? <laughs> what? Is a comet? A meteor, a meteor comes like showers down on Earth usually, and then a comet will, like orbits and stuff. Oh. I think, as far as I know. I don't know. Does everybody know that? <laughs> <laughs> I wish everybody that was watching right now could see the comet with us. It's very cool. I wish we could hand down the binoculars to the three or four hundred people that are watching. And each of us would get pink eye. Someone called you Brunts. Babe. Who called me Brunts? <laughs> it's so bright. <laughs> we go back to my car. Make sure it didn't get stolen. It's getting get broken into. Yeah, Let's go. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Someone getting towed. That sucks. Oh, my mask is in my pocket. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't wearing it if uh, I wasn't near anybody and we weren't. Autumn's just being, she's being, she's taking precautions and that's okay. I think it makes me look like a cowboy. Oh, look at her boots. Like Kid Rock. I love Kid Rock. <laughs> no, she doesn't. 
She just said she loves Kid Rock and she's lying. Look at your feet. That's not a Kid Rock lover. Don't look at my feet. All right, chat. All right, ew, dude. Come on. Um, Sorry, I didn't get to show you guys more. This camera just is really bad in dark light. <laughs> we saw the comet. It was really cool. Got to look at it with some binoculars. It was awesome. I wish I could have shown you guys, but this camera does not do well <laughs> in low light, let alone seeing a comet that we could barely see. We're gonna drive back now. Hopefully yeah. combined this footage and the footage I took on the stream first, we'll be able to piece together a fun little night. So Bruce and I are currently trying to um, rent out our apartment, which means that I am in the process of showing our apartment. I'm currently waiting on someone to show up right now. So yeah, pretty excited. But I'll show you guys kind of like, you know, what the house is looking like. And yeah, I'm excited to move though. It'll be fun. Guys, we uh, just finished shooting the daily. The guy who was supposed to come to see the house, he thought it was tomorrow, so he's not gonna come today. So I rescheduled him for tomorrow. Now it's uh, back to work, you know, do manager stuff, going to meetings and responding to emails, whipping the whip. That's not a term. I got these press on nails. I really like getting acrylics done. Obviously with COVID and everything, um, nail salons aren't open. What I can do is do press on nails. So I ordered some press on nails from Marmalade. I got some pink jelly nails. Um, so I think I'm gonna put those on tonight to like unwind a little bit. Do some nails, we'll chat, it'll be fun. So see you guys then. Slate. Hey guys, so it's been a couple days. I filmed some stuff and then I said I was going to put my nails on and then I fell asleep. That was Thursday. <laughs> then Friday happened and it was just a lot. <laughs> Bruce and I streamed that night, so it just kind of didn't happen, but it's Saturday and I am going to just hang out with you guys for a little bit and like do my nails. Oh, dude, this camera, I can't even begin to say is so terrible. Just in case you guys didn't know, this camera is one of Bruce's old cameras and it is like sticky all the time for some reason. Anyway, these are the nails I'm gonna be putting on. They're really cute. They're um, pink jelly nails, so they're a little bit see-through. My nails look really bad right now. Part of the reason why I am doing my nails is because I really like having acrylics because I struggle with dermatillomania. Basically, if you don't know what that is, it's like obsessive skin picking. It's classified as a body focused repetitive behavior. Basically, I just take at my skin a lot and <laughs> rip skin off of places on my body that I shouldn't, like my lips and my nails, my face, my arms, my chest, my back, my legs, everything. I'm actually gonna go put a shirt on so I can show you my arms, one second. Wolf, so I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it, but here are my arms. They're actually kind of healing up right now. Here's my other arm. It's uh, It's been a struggle in quarantine, especially to get kind of a grip on my skin picking. I'm really excited to put on these press-on nails because uh, hopefully it'll help me not pick as much because I won't be able to. I tried to set up like the camera so that you'd be able to see me doing my nails, but we're still in struggleville with my setup. First, I'm gonna clip these bad boys. They need it. Step one, <laughs> I'll show you what they look like after they're clipped. So dermatillomania is a really interesting subject for me. I've struggled with dermatillomania for a really long time. It started uh, probably when I was about 15. Before then, I struggled with trichotillomania, which is compulsive hair pulling, and that started probably when I was about 13. It started as a way for me to cope with my anxiety. Um, I have had anxiety like literally ever since I can remember, even as a little small 
baby toddler. I don't know, it's just something I feel like I was born with. Here's the first clipped. Ooh, nice. When I had trichotillomania, that started as me pulling out like half of my eyebrows. It sucks because like even to this day, my eyebrows are kind of messed up because I used to pull them out so much. Like they just don't really grow back totally normally. And I remember my mom and like my cousins, they thought I was plucking it like that on purpose, which, you know, is definitely something that preteen girls do. I don't know. I never like talked to anyone about it. I remember like even trying to look up on the internet what it was and there was some stuff about body focused repetitive behaviors. When was that? That would be in 2007 maybe? But there wasn't a lot. I just was kind of like, well, it makes me feel better and it was really embarrassing though. Like it sucked. I always felt embarrassed of my eyebrows. I used to draw them in with eyeliner, which I'm sure looked terrible. I mean, middle school is rough anyway <laughs> without you yanking out your brows, am I right? All right, we're clipped, guys. My cuticles are uh, basically falling off because I picket my nails so much. So I'm gonna push them back a little bit. And then I'm also going to just do a little bit of like clean up around the edges of my nails. This is actually really cool. So I'm, they're not sponsoring me or anything. I just like this and I'm curious to try it. Ow. Sorry, I had previously opened this like a f***ing animal. Here's what you see when you open up. It's like the, the little nails. And then when you open up the actual packet, so I'm not gonna tilt it too far because there's nails inside of it, but there's a little orange stick, I think you, they call it. Uh, I'm not a YouTuber, sorry. To push back your cuticles, there's some glue and there's actually a little nail file, which is nice. So before I start that, like I said, gonna do a little bit of a cuticle touch up because my sh be up. <laughs> I stopped pulling out my eyebrows when I started picking at my skin. Like it kind of felt like it just transferred over. I just kind of remember standing outside in the sun and I looked at my arm and I was like, I feel like I have a lot of like blackheads or something on my arm. They're not blackheads. They're just my pores. <laughs> um, when you have dermatillomania, you really hyper-focus on any little imperfection in your skin. And I am constantly trying to pick at things that are completely normal and that you should not pick at. It's actually the worst right now that it's been in a really, really long time because we're in the middle of a pandemic and you know, stressful. So I'm like trying not to be too hard on myself about it, but it's hard now that I'm older because my skin does not heal from it as quickly as it used to. I'm just trying to help myself in whatever way I can. It's just a band-aid for now, but it really helps. It sucks because I really like to play the piano and I do yoga every morning. So honestly, I shouldn't wear acrylics, not to mention I work on a computer and I edit, but it helps me so much. It's a worthy trade-off, especially right now when I'm, I'm really struggling to get it under control. And that's pretty much that for like my skin picking stuff. I just kind of wanted to talk about it on my channel. There's like a lot more people talking about it now than there was when I was younger, which is awesome. That makes me really happy because I didn't know what was going on when I was a kid. I had no idea. I don't have it under control as an adult. I wonder if I had had more like understanding and support as a kid, maybe I'd have it better under control as an adult. All right, they don't look great, but you know, they're serviceable. Guys, if I start like making actual money on this channel, I will get a better camera, I promise. So they're trimmed, the cuticles are pushed back. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn the camera off while I do the nail parts, um, but I'll hop back in in a second. All right, so I did my first hand. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. I like the, the jelly aspect of it. I think I might make them a little bit shorter. I'm curious to see how well they stick. Cause so far they're like really sticking on there. Oh man, maybe I liked it better the other way. Damn it. I'm going to do the, uh, the other hand now. <laughs> God, dude, I should not be allowed to do things. Other hand done. Boom, bang. I'm going to cut them down on this channel. Like I'm just going to do what I like and probably as I keep making stuff and finding out what I like, everything I've done so far has been pretty different. I'm just trying out a bunch of stuff. The Q&A video was my favorite overall because it was very easy to film and it was interesting. It's easy to like make a good thumbnail and title out of and like the editing on it. Oh my gosh, it was like nothing. The Neopets one was really fun, but that was a lot of work 
um, for kind of not a lot of payoff for this vlog. I mean, I again, I haven't started editing it right now at the moment I'm speaking, but curious to see if it's like easy to put it together or if it's gonna be more challenging. Luckily for me, like I have a lot of editing experience with different stuff, like putting different kinds of content together. So I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. Are y'all ready for the, <laughs> for the reveal? My nails are all dusty. so weird in my hair. Ew! Oh no, my hair is already stuck in one of the nails, so this is great. The point of these is to keep my hands away from my skin, so hopefully they serve their purpose. I'm gonna stop filming so I can like enjoy my weekend. I have to edit this either tonight or tomorrow anyway, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have an excellent week ahead of you. I will try to let you guys know what the next video I'm gonna be doing is if I know, but you know, you can always rely on one of these videos coming up every Monday morning at 8 a.m. PST. I don't know, again, what they're always gonna be, but it will be something. Um, I am very consistent, so you can rely on that, no problem. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, my my little wife. I really appreciate it. I like talking to you guys and I hope you have um, a great week. Bye. <laughs> What's happening? Is everyone okay? Uh, let's do kitchen quest. So the royal family of Maraqua lost their home. I've been living on, a, on Mr. Island serving food to the great Mumbo Pango. Dude, this is scaring me. Like, <laughs> oh, what the shit is this? <laughs> what the f***?